In today's health alert, time-restricted eating has become a popular way to lose weight. But is it the meal timing or how much you eat that holds the key to weight loss? A recent study aimed to answer that. And joining us with the details is our chief health editor, Dr. Parthenandy. Doc. So, you know, I often get uh, asked for dietary advice from my patients, especially about this time-restricted eating, and that's when you only eat within a certain period of time in a 24-hour period. And a lot of people believe that the restrictive window gives the body more time to burn fat, but researchers at Johns Hopkins University discovered it doesn't make a significant difference. It's going to be big, right? 41 pre-diabetic and obese adults were split into two groups. Both groups received meals with identical calorie counts, but one group was instructed to eat all their food within the 10-hour window and with most of the calories eaten before 1 p.m. After 12 weeks, here's what they found. Researchers found that the participants following the time-restricted eating regimen lost just slightly over five pounds on average. Those who could eat regularly actually lost a bit more, around 5.7 pounds on average. So overall, the numbers were very close and suggested that the time-restricted eating may not be any more effective than simple eating uh, you know, f simply eating fewer calories. So it's going to be big for a lot of people to look at. Okay, so some people feel at least that the time-restricted eating enhances their overall health. Did the study find any evidence of that whatsoever? That's an important question, right? So some folks feel that time-restricted eating can improve their overall health by potentially improving blood pressure, triglyceride levels, and cholesterol. It is, it, it likely does, right? If people consistently fill their plates with healthy, nutritious foods. However, studies investigating health benefits have found mixed results. A recent study on intermittent fasting suggested they get this 91% higher risk of death from heart disease for people who only eat during an eight-hour window. We talked about this earlier, but back to Johns Hopkins University study, researchers did not find any differences in health indicators like blood sugar levels between the two groups. So the choice between cutting calories or restricting the hours you eat boils down to personal preference. So the bottom line is that it appears to be more about the amount of calories a person eats while awake more so than restricted uh, the food uh, that's eaten. And of course, it's always a good idea to run any, any new, new diet changes with your family doctor and not your TikTok friends. Ah. So you want to be able to ask people that can, can answer those questions. So but this, this is revealing. It tells you at the end of the day, it's kind of a personal choice. Okay. I thought TikTok was the only place to get medical advice. See, Steve, Brian, you're always, you're always <laughs> getting that. Always learning from the doctor. Exactly. Thanks, Doc. Thank you. If you have a health question for the doctor, you can email him, Dr. Nandy at askdrnandy.com or send it to us on Facebook or Twitter.